Minister and Dr. Henry, you might have read today that a group of Canadian border city mayors are calling on the federal government to keep the Canadian-U.S. border closed to non-essential travel until at least uh, next year. Um, in the piece, we theorize that the Trump administration will probably lobby quite strenuously to reopen the border before the November election um, to create the sense of normalcy. I am wondering, what is your position on the border? Um, how strenuously will you perhaps uh, lobby Ottawa to keep that border closed for the time being, for as long as numbers, for example, in Washington state are as high as they are? Thank you. Yeah, so um, obviously it is a federal issue to discuss those. Um, we do have discussions about the the things. And what we have um, we early on um, advocated for closing the border, recognizing the risk that we were running, not just with um, people coming from Washington State, but because we are very interconnected and many people in B.C. go back and forth and have family back and forth um, with Washington State. And that became a, a challenge for us. We've also advocated to uh, in, to allow family visits across the border, and we've had that implemented. I think we need to consider um, how we can safely move forward with um, additional family members. For example, right now it's quite restrictive to uh, uh, dependent children and, and uh, relatives, and there are also many uh, children who have elderly, uh, adult children who have elderly relatives who need to come back and, and care for them or visit with them. So we need to look at how how we can do that safely, how we can have um, some exceptions for critical functions, for some business functions, and um, where we have very closely monitored, so uh, where, where the Quarantine Act would still apply, but there would be uh, allowance for people to uh, visit a, a dying relative or for a business function to take place if needed. And there's a number of examples that we're looking at at that. But um, we still very much believe that uh, visiting um, for recreational reasons are, are, are very risky right now, and we would advocate to keep the border closed to those.